Hello everyone, this is Bronzy Shepherd. Uh, today I'm going to show you a real quick lesson how to remove the nav bar from your blogger blog. This is now 2013 and blogger has did some changes uh, on the back end for the bloggers and a lot of you are probably are wondering how you can remove this nav bar. This is one of my blogs that I have here, Simple Landscaping Ideas and Designs. Um, okay, let's proceed on over to the back part of Blogger. Now, as you can see, we're in the back part of Blogger. Uh, what you want to do is you click on Template, which will bring you up to this page here. Once it's up, you're going to click in Edit HTML, and that'll bring you into your HTML format of your blog. Need a couple of seconds for that to come up. Might be taking a little bit longer because of the fact that I'm recording this. Yeah, still waiting, still waiting. Meanwhile, where I am, it's a nice, beautiful, gorgeous day. So now I'll be going back out there in a momento. Wow, we're still waiting for this. Maybe it's not going to bring it up because of the fact that I'm recording. Wait a minute, it's all the way on the side over there. Mm, let me try going back. Just let it upload again. Let's go into the editor. There it is. Okay. Now, what you want to look for is this line here. It says widget ID. Navbar 1. Lock true. What you have to do take your cursor go to the end of where it says true and backspace and take out the word true now you want to type in the word false F E L S E then you want to save your template Once it's saved, click on back. Now, as you can see, that nav bar is still there. Now, what you want to do is go to layout, click on layout. Now normally here where it says navbar, you'll notice it's white like this, but you can click on it, edit. Didn't know that this recording would have so much to do with doing making it so much slower. Now, this is what normally comes up. But since you type the word false in, you'll notice that from true, it stays with these guys. However, typing in the word false brings up this extra slot where you can click on it 
to turn it off. Then you click save. And I always save arrangements. And now you can view the blog. And there you have it. You'll notice that the nav bar is gone. So this is the new way that you have to uh, remove your nav bar. Before it used to be the special code that you would put in. But now you have to actually type in the word false from where it says true. And you can remove your nav bar that way by bringing up the extra slot and clicking on off okay that's my quick lesson hey and if you get a chance stop by and check out my blog thank you have a good day